is digital health? First, let me present uh, very briefly, um, uh, just to set the stage, digital health, according to the World Health Organization, is the field of knowledge and practice associated uh, with uh, any aspect of adopting digital technologies, essentially, to improve health from inception to operation. And it is a broad umbrella term that covers use of all modern information and communication technologies in medicine and healthcare, which encompasses e-health, something that we have been speaking more often, uh, let's say five to 10 years ago, but also the rapidly developing areas such as the usage of advanced computing sciences, for example, in the field of big data, genomics, and artificial intelligence. And so you can see here on this slide that the scope of digital health is rather broad. It includes electronic health records and health information systems, telehealth, telemedicine, uh, mobile health, or what we call remote patient monitoring, as well as digital imaging, virtual augmented and mixed reality or robotics, enhanced interventions in medicine, sensors, wearables, and the so-called ambient assisted living, as well as data analytics and artificial intelligence, and the upcoming future of medicine, genomics, and the so-called personalized or precision medicine. Now, why is it uh, so interesting and why is it so relevant, especially nowadays, to study digital health? I hope many of you have answered to this question because, of course, we know that healthcare is one of the most critical functions of human society. And on the other hand, there are very significant challenges that healthcare systems are facing all around the world. And what are those challenges? The challenges are because of the aging population, many elderly people who live with one or several chronic diseases, but also with public health emergencies such as Everybody knows about the COVID-19 pandemic that has proved to be the worst emergency, the worst public health crisis uh, on, in the world in the past century. And there is also uh, the situation with the healthcare costs that continue to grow. You can see the figure here. Now um, there is uh, more than eight and a half trillion US dollars spent on healthcare in the whole world. And that figure is growing fast. There is also a shortage of healthcare workforce. And of course, we all, the citizens, we expect ever better and ever more efficient and optimal healthcare. And now all that, given all that, it is no surprise that digital transformation of healthcare because we think that the digital solutions can provide answers to, uh, at least uh, some answers to many or all of those challenges. And so digital transformation of healthcare has indeed become a hot spot of policy, practice, research, and innovation worldwide, which is expected to uh, result in tens of thousands of new jobs. Just to illustrate it here in Germany, I would like to tell you that uh, the Germany right now is also becoming the uh, important leader in uh, digital transformation of healthcare. You can see on this slide that in the past 36 months, there were 28 uh, legislative acts, laws or statutes passed with relation, some relation to digital health, including six laws listed here that have digital health in focus. Among them are such important laws as the so-called Krankenhaus uh, Zukunftsgesetz, um, uh, the future hospital law that will provide 4.3 billion euros in investment in order to digitalize the healthcare system in Germany. So this creates obviously huge employment opportunities. Another spectacular law uh, that uh, quickly brought Germany to the forefront of legislative, at least, innovation in digital health is the so-called DVG, Digitale Versorgungsgesetz, or Digital Care Act, that for the first time ever will provide an opportunity for digital health applications for manufacturers or, or companies producing digital health applications 
to showcase them and to have them included and prescribed by doctors and covered by healthcare insurers. So many spectacular developments in digital health, including right now in Germany. And of course, as we everybody probably knows, it was the, uh, the very unfortunate catastrophe that we are all going through, the COVID-19 pandemic, that on the other hand, significantly boosted the developments in digital health. As you can see, in Germany only, there were 168 clinics or practices in 2019 that used, for example, web-based telemedicine, the so-called virtual visits, when doctors and patients can speak over a web link. In uh, currently, that figure grow, grew 1,370%, ladies and gentlemen, to more than 31,000 practices that use telemedicine in 2020, and that continues to grow. Mobile health is a vast area of development and research. Of course, we know that the, the amount of smartphones in the world is, is growing. Everything we do now, we do mostly through our mobile devices. There are more than 350,000 already applications out there in the world uh, related to health and fitness, and more than 200 of them being added each day. And another very hot area is the so-called connected health in, uh, with, relation, with relation to the area of the Internet of Things, which is also exploding, as you can see from this graph. They are going predicted to be 75 billion of connected devices in the world by the year 2025. Much of that is concentrated on health with wearables, with smart watches, with uh, smart garments, with ingestible and even injectable sensors or nanosensors. And uh, all that will result in accumulation of huge amount of health-related data that need to be processed, need to be analyzed. So once again, the demand for health data analytics, for example, or health data scientists will be growing. So it will be also supported by the artificial intelligence algorithms in order to automate the healthcare processes. And all that indeed is uh, shown here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that in the near future, we all know that digital is the future and the future is coming up really, really fast. But this is just to show you that digital in healthcare, which is the answer, essence of digital health, will probably be, and this is not an exaggeration, the most important area of digitalization of human activities. Now to the master's program in, in digital health. Some of the most important features of our program are, are listed here on this slide. It's a Ma MSc, Master of Science program, with very strong management and research components that prepare graduates for really taking over leadership positions to drive the digital transformation of healthcare, either in Germany, or worldwide. We have very strong interdisciplinary focus because it's the merger of healthcare and technology and also international character. As Professor Spittler has already told you, we have students from nearly 100 nations at our school. So it's a really diverse, international and very multicultural community. The program features a balanced mix of lectures and seminars that can be provided also and of course have been provided in hybrid or online mode since the development of the pandemic and the lockdowns, and also case studies, lab trainings, and project-based training, as well as many complementary activities such as participation in conferences and meetings. Right now, as we speak, ladies and gentlemen, this week there are two major digital health-related congresses and forum, forums taking place in Europe. One of them is DEMIA in Berlin, and another, um, the so-called uh, HIMSS uh, 21 uh, and uh, European Health Conference. So our students, all virtually all of them are right now immersed in the right in the heart of the digital health community in, and witnessing the first-hand developments in, in amazing developments in digital health worldwide, but also in Europe and, of course, in Germany. 
So we also provide our students an opportunity to be exposed to the global digital health community through impressive array of guest lectures by prominent experts around the world. So it's not only us, but also the international uh, academics teaching our students, and also uh, through a lot of seminars and workshops by recognized experts from around the world. We have state-of-the-art facilities, and we very much look forward to uh, welcoming our students physically in the next academic year, of course, provided that we uh, finally put the COVID-19 pandemic to its logical end. <clears throat> we also have the DigiHealth Lab that Professor Spickler mentioned earlier, a state-of-the-art lab with very modern devices, equipment, and software as well as super professional and very friendly staff, some of whom you are uh, essentially communicating today. What are the entry requirements to, uh, for master's in digital health? It's basically a bachelor degree in either any health science related discipline. I'm answering already some, quest some of the questions in the Q&A session. Yes, either if you're a medical doctor, if you're a dentist, if you're a pharmacist, if you're a public health professional, if you're a healthcare administrator, or essentially any biomedical specialist bachelor may apply to digital health. On the other hand, we also welcome computer information and data science uh, uh, graduates, graduates of those uh, from those from bachelor uh, programs in those disciplines, such as software development or business informatics and so on. Obviously, we require an excellent command of English uh, to the level of uh, C1. However, here I have to, to, to mention that if you have had your bachelor studies in English, with English as the language of instruction, you may be waived and you will usually be waived the requirement to present a certificate of knowledge of English. What are some of the um, uh, uh, subjects or the modules that you are going to study in these masters. Those are foundations of medicine and foundations of computer science. So what we do, why we do it, because the, this is an interdisciplinary study program and the students coming from medicine, they take an uh, extensive course in computer science to bring them to the necessary level and vice versa. Students coming from tech domain, take a course in medicine to introduce to them the main processes and uh, approaches in medicine and healthcare. After that, they proceed to the main uh, modules, which are uh, um, such uh, uh, subjects as international and global health or health economy and management, uh, many subjects in relation to digital health per se, of course, such as fundamentals, the technology, the applications, the info systems, and the data protection in digital health as well as research. There is a significant focus on research and methodology, including the statistics. And of course, very important, the so-called soft skills, which are delivered through the module uh, titled Intercultural and Scientific Communication and Management. Eventually, students do the, their master's uh, thesis. Uh, but before that, we provide an opportunity for our students, and this is uh, uh, an an innovation, an innovative project-based teaching, which comes with update uh, towards the MDH curriculum, Master of Digital Health. So the students uh, can select uh, a, a number of tracks. They can specialize either as managers in digital health or business uh, or digital health business or product developers, such as a startup, for example, or as data scientists in digital health, or as medical software developers or software engineers. And hence the career prospects that uh, hopefully we already all know and all understand that these prospects are really brilliant. Digital health specialists, uh, this is the general term or the umbrella term of people graduating from digital health study programs. What do they do? They work in, for example, uh, hospital IT units. This is probably the easiest thing to answer, right? And something that comes up to your mind first. And you already know that there will be many more positions for hospital IT services. Remember 4.3 billion euros investment infusion, huge 
federal money, federal and local money being now infused in digitalizing health systems in Germany. And assuming that many of you and many of our graduates currently already work in leading position, ladies and gentlemen, in leading positions in various digital health units or institutions throughout Germany. However, if you choose to return to your country of or, or origin or work anywhere else in the world, essentially, this is one of the unique features of our study programs, uh, study program, guys. We do not only focus on what is going on in Germany. We give you the big picture. We teach you the situation with digital health from US, United States to India, and from Sweden to South Africa. So you are indeed getting prepared to be a leader of digital health, a leader and driver of digital transformation of healthcare, wherever you find yourself. These are our excellent uh, local teaching staff, some professors at DIT, as well as our uh, lecturers. You already met Professor Spittler and your humble servants, as well as Professor Spöller, Gerg, Cummings Kauter, and uh, our colleagues, uh, Mrs. Schmaus Kluckhammer, uh, Mr. Rotter, Dr. Kallert. However, as I already mentioned, it's not only the local faculty, but also our international guest lecturers from person like Deepak Kalra, who is the top expert uh, Europe-wide uh, from London, uh, um, University College London in the United Kingdom, to uh, Professor Jay Sanders, who is commonly known as the father of telemedicine, to Professor Skalnik, also from the United States, to Croatia, to Brazil, to Greece. So you really get exposed to a lot of, a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. Also, because our unit, the European campus, is an institutional member to such global organizations in digital health as HIMS, for example, our Healthcare Information Management Systems Society, which has more than 80,000 membership, uh, or International Medical Informatics Association, or International Society for Telemedicine and Health, the European Federation for Medical Informatics, all these societies, uh, the European campus and DIT is the institutional member of. What it gives you, ladies and gentlemen, or as a prospective student at DIT A3, it gives you an excellent opportunity to indeed to, to become in the center of, no exaggeration here, global digital health community. Just a glimpse of our lab, uh, one of our field trips to University Medical Center in Regensburg, we very much, as I said, look forward to uh, lifted, uh, lifting of the lockdowns. So as we resume our activities, such as, for example, attending the same DEMIA that I mentioned, uh, this was a couple of years ago, uh, a lot of lectures and a lot of experiences are being provided in e-learning mode, in virtual mode. And you probably noticed it already on my background. It's not only, uh, we're, we, we do not only attend conferences by others, we have a conference event of our own, ladies and gentlemen, which is titled Digi Health Day. Uh, that was, we launched that very successful series of educational and research events last year. This year it will, it is continuing. So please look it up on uh, uh, internet, find out the site, the website, which is th uh, uh dash deg, uh, dot de slash health day you will easily uh, find it by just googling it it's a free event series so those of you who are interested those of you who are planning to join us can already go online to our conference website and register that is all for uh, masters of digital health ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for following it 